September 10, 2022, Theo and Gert Wagens, Zetendel, Belgium, wins first and second National Chateaurus 2022 vs 17,165 Young Bird Categories. August 22, 2020, Theo Wagens, Zetendel, Belgium, wins first National Bourge 2020 vs 28,551 Young Birds Categories. Theo Wagens, 1956, had pigeons for six years when he was very young. His father had pigeons long before he was born but his neighbor was a good pigeon fancier. Theo got married, built a house and started racing pigeons again in 1980. His first birds came from his brother-in-law Jean Van Grinsveld, who stopped racing pigeons. A direct bird from Jean won first Provincial Orleans 4600 pigeons already in 1981. This was excellent for a young fancier. But Theo began a business in flowers and plants when he was 19 years old. This became a big gardening center some years later and the birds came in second place. This business was very important for this young man. Theo had already planned his life then. He wanted to work very hard until he was 50 years old and then the pigeons should come in first place. He had already planned to build a big pigeon ranch in his mind. Theo bought new pigeons after his first provincial victory for the middle distance races. The main races are in the spring, and this is the busiest period in his gardening business. He switched to the national races for youngsters, mostly in the summer and autumn. He had some very good results in his race. Theo entered the Barcelona race for the first time in 1987 with his middle distance pigeons. 1987 was the hardest Barcelona race in history only 121 pigeons arrived in Belgium on the first day of the race. The world-famous late André Van Bruyne from Law had seven of his eight birds on this first day, Theo heard this news and told his wife, I am sure that my birds are not good enough for this race. I want to go to André Van Bruyne and buy some of his birds. Theo's wife agreed and they went to Law the next day. The eighth pigeon from Barcelona arrived exactly when Theo and his wife arrived in Law. But the married couple could not buy youngsters yet. They had to wait until September. Theo bought youngsters from the famous Kuipers brothers, near, NL, the same year 1987. The crossbreeding of these two strains was an immediate success. Now Theo could race both middle distance and very long distance. He became friends with the famous Fons van Offuizen from Landgraf, NL. Fons is famous for writing articles but also for his amazing results in the races. Several very long distance birds came from Fons to the loft wagens. But Theo had too many birds, he could not handle it anymore. He had too much work in his business. So, he got rid of many long distance birds and only kept some youngsters from these birds. The results were still very good. He won the first Provincial La Souterraine in 1993 and became Superstar of the Year on Long Distance of the magazine De Duif in 1994. Theo made a big decision by the end of the 90s. He sold all the middle distance birds and wanted to focus on Barcelona. Theo bought long distance birds from some of the best fanciers in Belgium and the Netherlands, Fons van Offuizen, NL. Kuipers Brothers, NL, Lucy and Anton van der Weijen, NL, now in Pisan, Belgium, Herring Pelmans, Belgium, Florizoni, Belgium, Despuquis Brothers, Belgium, Edmund Striel, Belgium, and Albert Willems, Belgium. My host turned 50 years and he now wanted to realize his dream. He stopped the gardening business and wanted to realize his long-time dream, a pigeon ranch. Theo bought a nice piece of land and built a new house and a great pigeon loft, all white. He put youngsters on his aviaries in 2006 but still had the other loft at his old house. This aviary will be removed in 2008 when the big loft is finished. Theo had an amazing result in Barcelona 2006 at his old loft, National 52, 56, 86, and sold many racing birds after this. Only 48 racing birds were not sold by the end of 2006. Theo had little time, building a new loft, for his old loft and only went there once a day to take care of these birds. 
He entered the national race Montelemar in 2007 but with no good result. At the weekend of Barcelona, St. Vincent was closing in and he had to choose between racing yearlings on his new loft or Barcelona, 40 pigeons, on his old loft. The Barcelona man wanted to race Barcelona for the last time on the old loft. His new loft is almost ready and now he does not have pigeons at the old loft. This new loft is in the Dahlstrat 109 in Zetendel. It's a dream for a pigeon fancier. It can be compared with the great loft of Noel Lippens from Arsel. It matches the house, all white. On the left side are the yearling and old pigeons. On the right side is the breeding loft and aviary for youngsters. This aviary will be replaced with another new loft in the same style. This was completed in 2008. There were aviaries in front of this loft so the youngsters could stay in the aviary during the day. Theo races his old birds and yearlings on total widowhood, both the hens and cocks are entered in the races. They can raise youngsters once so they can get used to their new place and loft. The old birds are paired in March for five days breeding. The total widowhood for old and yearling birds starts in April. The cocks stay in the compartment where they had a nest, and the hens move to beautiful aviaries behind the loft. The hens cannot sit on the ground. They train once a day in the evening. They are released on the back side of the loft but enter on the front. Theo opens one big window, so all the hens must come through this window. The hens eat and drink in one big compartment but cannot see their partners. They go to the aviaries again after 20 to 30 minutes. Theo was in the spotlight again with a fantastic double at the final national race from Chateauru against 17,081 youngsters. Theo formed his successful colony with 90% pigeons from Gabby Vandenabeel, Dentigem supplemented with pigeons from Vim de Troy, Berlar and Patrick Vervloisem, Ridgmanan. The 2022 team consisted of 20 cocks that were played on the widowhood, 20 hens that were played on the sliding door in the loft of the youngsters and 200 youngsters. With a pigeon at 15.48.09 hour for a distance of 537.128 km and at 1542.81 m per minute, Theo Wagens became the national winner against 17,081 youngsters and had the fastest of 19,017 pigeons. The national winner is the Remco Belgium 22-5026730. The second national is the Wout B22-5026740. That is a blue from mediocrity and a beautiful pigeon in the hand. All in all, a handsome double by Theo Wagens and a fantastic end to a successful season. With all that quality in the loft, Theo Wagens plays very well. Regularly his top prizes and even occasionally makes a dream result. It is clear that Theo Wagenshas achieved excellent results on the long distances over the years with this collection of world-class pigeons.